His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia after leading Bahrain's delegation to the 16th consultative meeting of the Supreme Council of the GCC. His Majesty sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, expressing sincere thanks and gratitude to King Salman and the Saudi government and people for the gracious welcome and hospitality accorded to him which he said reflected the depth of the excellent relations binding the two countries and their brotherly peoples. His Majesty voiced pleasure in participating in the GCC consultative meeting and discussing with other GCC leaders ways of boosting solidarity, security, stability, progress and prosperity for GCC countries and peoples. He praised the leading role played by Saudi Arabia in enhancing the GCC march and the crucial issues and serious challenges facing the Arab region. He wished the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia further success, peace and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today members of the Al Mahmoud family, led by Dr Abdul Latif Al Mahmoud, who thanked the Prime Minister for his condolences on the demise of family member Jal Jalal Abdul Razak Al Mahmoud. His Royal Highness commended the principle of communication between the people upon all occasions, which marks the authenticity and nobility of the Bahraini people and their one family spirit. He noted that the strength of Bahraini society lies in the people's keenness to preserve national unity and their dedication to enhancing the development of their homeland. The Prime Minister praised the contributions of Bahraini families such as the Al Mahmoud family in preserving the social fabric of society. For their part, the audience thanked His Royal Highness for his interest in sharing the feelings of the people in joy and in sorrow which reflects his sense of noble humanitarian feelings. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabir Palace the Russian Ambassador to the Kingdom, Vagif Garayev, who presented to His Royal Highness an invitation from the Russian Deputy Prime Minister, Sergei Prikhodko, to attend the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, set to be held under the patronage of the Russian President Vladimir Putin from the 16th to the 18th of June. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation for the invitation, and hailed the ongoing development of relations between Bahrain and Russia in various fields. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance its economic, trade and investment relations with Russia by activating a number of agreements aimed at attracting investments in both countries. He also lauded Russia's role in maintaining regional and global security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that such visits helped to strengthen economic and investment cooperation. His Royal Highness noted the efforts aimed at consolidating GCC-Russian relations and hailed the fruitful results of the GCC-Russian strategic dialogue. For his part, the Russian ambassador commended the strong ties between Bahrain and Russia, praising His Royal Highness's keenness to enhance these relations in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, patronised and presented the Khalifa bin Salman Award for Journalism to this year's winners. The award is a symbol of gratitude and appreciation, not only of the winners, but of the entire journalist community. The award was attended by a large number of ministers, ambassadors and journalists. More in this report by Sara al -Baraik. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Khalifa bin Salman Award for Journalism was given to four distinguished journalists who truthfully communicated their stories.
everybody wants to be rewarded for what they do. Um, and I think that one of our biggest problems in general, forget not here, not in Europe, but in general, is that people don't praise each other enough for the good work that they do. And I think an event ceremony like this is wonderful because people who have gone beyond you know, what's expected of them and has, has made their contribution to the country, but also to their field. And what you see is also, it's not just political reporting, it's reporting in general and it's different types of media personalities. So I think that an event like this is so important because it gives a recognition to the hard work that people are actually doing. Bahrain's journalists and press have always had a vast area where they can write and voice their ideas with no limitations. This freedom has given even local international press agencies the opportunity to expose the truth that lies behind Bahrain. Bahrain journalism has come of age and uh, I attended the last two uh, award ceremonies and I think where the pioneering journalists were, were, were honoured. And I think um, you know Bahrain's got a good tradition. Now it's developed; its press has developed fantastically. Um, as 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 a an editor of long standing, and I, I'm talking about 38 years here. And people often ask me if about censorship. That's a favourite question, and I always tell them there is no direct censorship here. There's always been an open door policy in Bahrain, and I'm proud of that. And we've. I, I, I'm proud of the way the press has evolved and the Prime Minister um, rec rec has recognised that all along and uh, you know, uh, hopefully now we can produce reports that will counter um, a lot of the misunderstanding uh, uh, f from the Western press. I think now they're beginning to realise the realities of, uh, on the ground here um, and hopefully it won't be too late. This is Sarah Break for Bahrain 55. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, deputised the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa al Khalifa, to attend the seventh annual graduation ceremony of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Medical University of Bahrain, the RCSI Bahrain. More than 80 graduate doctors were honoured during the ceremony, which was attended by ministers, senior state officials, the graduates' families. RCSI representatives, as well as the teaching staff of the Medical University of Bahrain. The Deputy Prime Minister conveyed congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the graduates and their families, as well as his wishes for their further success. He noted that the great attention paid to the Kingdom's health and medical sector was reflected in the plans and programmes of the government, given its importance in developing human resources, who are the real wealth in which the country is keen to invest. He stressed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's unwavering keenness to support all efforts to develop the medical sector through an integrated vision based on increasing the number of health facilities, providing high-quality services and improving medical education by benefiting from prestigious international medical universities and institutes or by attracting leading health and medical institutions and prominent doctors in all specialities to benefit from their expertise. The Deputy Premier highlighted the fruitful results gained from the Kingdom's cooperation with the RCSI, citing the graduation of highly qualified and competent Bahraini medical personnel, which has been a key factor in the progress of health services and care in Bahrain. For his part, the President of the RCSI Council, Declan J. McGee, congratulated the graduates on their achievements and lauded relations between RCSI and the Kingdom of Bahrain. RCSI Executive President Professor Samir Otum also congratulated the graduates on their success and thanked their families and friends for supporting them. Delegated by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, the Minister of Shura and Representative Council Affairs, Ghanem al Bouanain, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid al Khalifa, and Sheikh Issa bin Ali al Khalifa attended a reception this evening hosted by the Russian ambassador to Bahrain, Vagif Garayev, at the Diplomat Hotel to mark his country's National Day. 
Also present were other ministers, senior government officials, diplomats and guests. The Minister of Shura and Representative Council Affairs conveyed greetings from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and wishes of continued progress and prosperity for Russia and its people. He also underlined the developing relations between the two countries, mainly in economic, commercial and investment domains, for the benefit of the two countries' peoples. The Russian ambassador expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's support of efforts to foster cooperation between the two countries in various fields.